Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. Today I'm going to be doing uh, the best cheap accommodation. So let's jump right into it. Now, according to nomadmat.com, these are basically the cheapest ways of, uh, for travellers to travel without a large, large budget basically or for instance now um gain accommodation is one of the biggest things that cost travelers um according to the website which is, is um his right and reducing the costs um uh, make more money to spend elsewhere say like on a, a attraction something of the so um or basically what you want like say meals for instance if you don't want to spend it on an attraction so um so yes these are like the six ways of um basically um putting down your expenditure and staying in hotels or etc number one is uh, staying in a hosp hospitality hosp sorry hospitality exchange and um, that's uh, basically for example you stay with a friend or a relative um if they're basically living in that um country or where you want to be going then you can always stay as a friend uh, stay with a friend or relative um again obviously most of the time that's free so that you don't really need to um, be worrying about accommodation at costs it means you'll be able to allow more uh, basically uh, money to for flight and um, for instance or petrol or um, basically attractions um, etc if you're going to stay with family or a friend and um, Number two is um, stay in hostels, dormitory style rooms, um, all facilities shared though. Many hostels um, do offer small rooms, single and doubles, um, designed for the solo traveller and couples. Um, hostels um, are safe, secure and cheap. Obviously, um, with um, any valuables if you basically hide them away um, where, to where nobody can get them it's either that or don't take expensive jewelry when you go on holiday for instance or keep your money where it's going to be safe um, so it's a basically Um, common sense really and um, not to leave um, expensive th things lying around um, it's more common sense that is and number three um, is uh, home exchange um, if you own your own home and uh, you do want to swap homes with a family say from another country then again it's free all you need to do is just pay your fl flight and transfer costs and obviously they stay in your home as well and um, number four and um, you can stay stay in an airbnb there um the two home exchange and um, 
uh, they're a lot like apartments basically rentals that allow people to stay in the comfort um of an apartment uh, while traveling and um, the apartments are cheaper than hotels and provide um many more itineraries um especially if you're doing separate route traveling or whatever you get all the comfort of your home without spending us a fortune uh, they are nice um bridge between a hostel and a hotel although they can be a bit more expensive for a solo traveler than a hostel um again number five is staying on a farm want to live on a farm without all the work and um, farm stays allow you to learn um about the farm works and possibly um, get involved working on the farm for instance like uh, milking cows um, and you can enjoy a no number of other outdoor activities and um, I get expect to pay as much as a basically a budget hotel for instance um, number six um, you can stay at a hotel but um, especially if you're staying with a hotel company and you stay with that um, hotel company say like the Premier Inn or say maybe the Comfort Inn or um, and that is a hotel according to um, his website I think the Waldorf London um, you can collect hotel points and um, each time you, you stay at the hotel you can collect um hotel points and uh, basically um you can probably get at uh, one night's uh, free stay and uh, once you collected up so many hotel points that's another way of saving money on a, a accommodation um another um i i will also give you um, another tip um if you compare hotel prices if you do want to stay in a hotel um but obviously um don't want to pay through the roof then you could always go on some websites like um, booking.com or tripadvisor um etc trivago and basically uh, see what hotels come up um at the best price for you um so please keep watching and um, if you haven't already done so please like and subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next travel video which is going to be tuesday and um, it's um, basically next week I'm going to do a lot of hot or not travel destinations uh, for you and I'm going to be doing them all all week um, next Sunday however I'll be um, traveling to Lanarkshire which is uh, in the North Wales UK and it's like the largest um, resort in North Wales so I'll be travelling there and um, no wonder people have told me um, how much they have loved Atlanta now and would love to go back there and um, so I will be basically going on holiday with Alpha Holiday Coach Travel Group and I'll be uh, telling you um, basically doing videos on Land Now and Conway, um, Betsy Cohen and other places in North Wales so please keep watching this. stay tuned for that and thank you I love you all viewers 
and subscribers thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video which is going to be hot on not week um and it's going to be next week and um, the next video is going to be on tuesday so please stay tuned for that thank you and bye for now